Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim My name is Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. This lecture is on research question. What is a research question? A research question is a clear and focused inquiry that guides a research study. It defines the scope and direction of the research, helps researchers identify the purpose of their study, and guides their data analysis and interpretation. Why are research questions important? Research questions are important for three basic reasons. First, it guides research process. A well-formulated research questions help researchers focus their effort and avoid wasting time or resources. It helps to advance knowledge by identifying gaps in existing literature and addressing unresolved issues or controversies. It also helps to make an informed decisions by generating empirical evidence that can inform policy practice and interventions. What are the characteristics of a good research question? 1. Clarity. A good research question should be clear and ambiguous. It should be easy to understand and specific enough to guide the research process. 2. Focus. It should be well defined in scope and target a specific aspect of the topic under investigation. 3. Relevance. A good research question should address a gap in existing knowledge or literature and potentially contribute to the advancement of knowledge. For feasibility, it should be feasible and realistic and also practical in terms of the resources, time and data required for investigation. Five, significant. It should have potential significance or implication for theory, practice, policy, or the understanding of a particular phenomenon. It should also be open-ended, allowing for multiple possible answers or interpretations. We have four steps to follow when formulating research questions. The first step is choose a research topic, and this research topic should be broad and it should align with your research goals and interests. Secondly, review literature by conducting preliminary research to understanding existing knowledge and research on your topic and identify gaps or controversies. Thirdly, brainstorm with your, the potential research questions by generating a list of questions based on your topic and identify variables. And finally, refine and test the questions and evaluate these questions based on clarity, specificity, relevance and feasibility. If necessary, seek feedback from your supervisors or experts in your field. We have different types of research questions. We have descriptive research questions which seeks to describe the phenomenon, event or situation. We have exploratory research questions which explore new areas, generate hypotheses or identify relationships among variables. We have explanatory research questions which seeks to understand cause and effect relationship or test theories or model. And finally, we have comparative research questions which compare variables or groups to determine differences, similarities, or effects. I give some examples of those types of research questions. The first one is an exploratory research question. An example is, what is the impact of climate change on urban communities? This question seeks to investigate the effects of climate change on urban cities and identify mitigation strategies. Then for explanatory questions, we can ask questions like how does technology impact student learning in K-12 classroom? This question examines the relationship between technology usage and academic performance among students. And for a comparative question, we can have questions like what is the role of workplace diversity in promoting innovation and creativity? This question compares diverse and homogeneous work teams in terms of their innovation and creativity level. There are 
Some mistakes we normally make when formulating research questions, when the question is too broad or is too narrow, is uh, always a mistake in formulating research questions. Questions not addressing a gap in the existing literature or research, or asking questions that is too complex or difficult to answer, or your question being too vague or unclear about the variable or aspect being investigated, or formulating a question that is not feasible or practical to answer, and finally asking questions that are already answered or irrelevant to the research topic. I give some example by taking the topic effect of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. If you look at this topic, our dependent variable is purchase decisions while our independent variable is online customer reviews. So the proxies for online customer reviews are quality and credibility, quantity of the review, valence, that is whether the review is positive, negative, or neutral, sources of online review, whether it's from verified user, social media influencer, or anonymous reviewer. So you can ask the question thus. For quality and credibility, what is the effect of quality and credibility of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria? For quantity, what is the effect of quantity of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria? For valence, how does valence of customer reviews affect purchase decision of computer brands in Nigeria? And for source, to what extent the source of online customer reviews impact on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. So we should try as much as possible to use different types of question mode. If you look at the questions we have asked, the first one is what is, the second one is what is. So these are tautological. The third one we say how does, to what extent. So change the types of questions we ask when formulating research questions. In conclusion, research questions are the cornerstone of any research study. They guide the research process, help researchers identify gaps in knowledge and contribute to the advancement of knowledge. Formulating an effective research question requires careful consideration of key characteristics, steps, and types of research questions. By avoiding common mistakes and formulating clear and focused questions, researchers can design studies that provide valuable insights and contribute to the body of knowledge in their respective field. If you enjoyed this presentation, you can kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Data Analytica.